Alright, well, hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Neverwinter with Bird Doggy Dog. I'm Bird Doggy Dog, and this is Neverwinter. Um, it is a free to play MMO set in the Dungeons and Dragons uh, rule set, sort of pantheon of games. Um, it's The setting itself is Farron. Uh, if you're familiar with the Forgotten Realms, it's the set Neverwinter, which is along the Sword Coast, um, you'll see names like um, Omn and the Dale Lands and a lot of these sort of other, um, you know, quintessential D&D areas. So I think what we're going to do is for the moment skip race and look at the classes that we can be. Now, they've taken an interest, interesting sort of tact on how they set up classes. You're the trickster, rogue, the devoted cleric. I mean, it may just be an adjective, and you actually get to control all of that yourself anyway. But it's still a neat little thing that they've done. So there's the guardian fighter. Um, hmm. So like most MMOs, you know, you have fairly specific roles. I don't know how diverse jobs can really be. I haven't figured that out yet. We made the control wizard, that's our tiefling bird doggy dog. Um, so I think we might go rogue or maybe cleric this time. You know, clerics can be a lot of fun. Although great weapon fighter might be a ball. Yeah, we might do that. What do we get? We get dungeoneering. We can see traps and collect artifacts. We have a fine leap. We have a punishing charge and a sprint. Okay, well, we should clearly be a half orc, I think. Uh, and we might, yeah, we'll, we'll be a, no, we'll be a he. No. No, we'll be a female half orc. I think that's wise. Great weapon fighter. Okay. Uh, no stat boosts, huh? I would, uh, oh, wait, that's the wrong page. What does she get? Dex and either con or strength. That's, that's about right for a two weapon fighter. Both of those would be good, though. I wonder, what do you get? Con and strength. Uh, Two-weapon fighter dwarf might actually make sense. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, a dwarf makes a lot more sense. Crits. Oh, the extra five crits. Nice. Hmm. And swift charge, you're faster. I'm not so interested in that, although that may be a useful tactical tool. I mean, clearly we don't want to be any of these. Elves, kind of boring. Hmm, dwarven, I'm tempted to do the dwarf. I've, I've always had a fondness for dwarves. Yeah, we'll make ourselves a, I mean, that, that resistance is pretty sweet. Get up in their face and just annoy them to death. Cast Iron Stomach, yeah. Alright, we're going Dwarf. We are, we are going Dwarf. Okay. No, great weapon fighter. Thank you very much. Alright, so the way this game does stats is kind of, um, curious to me, I suppose. Y you have, they don't actually randomly generate them. They're, well, okay. They have set a preset collection of lists of stats. Right, where it's the highest you get 20 is 18, 13, 13, 10, 10, 8. Right, that combination of stats is the best you're possibly going to get. So, th the way they break down is purple, uh, blues, and grays. You have 1, 2, and 3. Um, these are primary, these are secondary, and then these are quote unquote not relevant. Hmm. I don't know which of these we should make our dump stat. Probably... We're a dumb... S no, no, we shouldn't be. We, sh we should keep rolling. Um, I'm only going to show you guys a minute or two of this. Yes, not very wise. I think that's correct. Alright, alright, let's continue along. So now the part that we all sort of care about, the character creation. Um, I've been fairly impressed by the tools they've got available. Um, the presets are all pretty decent and give you a good jumping ground. I actually like that preset a fair bit. Um, we're of course going to tweak madly. <laughs> I oh I think I think if we can make that one crazier, we have it. Um, 
We need to really let the loony out, though. The 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 idea I've got <laughs> for uh, this build is, you know, so so Bird Doggy Dog that we role played a couple of friends were over when we made him, so we role played sort of what he was, and he's essentially the world's fattest, laziest um, librarian turned refugee. Uh, he was a that's pretty good. He was a uh, uh, library sort of study student of, um, you know, the great scholars and all this stuff. Wizard. And uh, he had a bad time. <laughs> and um, ended up here. So I think we're going to play this chick um, as a haggard... We're going to get her nice and old, and she's just going to be this haggard and... Hmm, flat, wide, kind of deranged looking, hardened war veteran. Um, probably like a dwarven berserker is what she'll be. I cannot decide, I think, I mean chiseled, chiseled's pretty good. Flat's not bad, but we're gonna go with chiseled there. Eyes, <laughs> blind, hurt, eh. Hmm, eh, I think we'll just go natural. I don't... Blind's funny, but I don't know. Hmm. Alright, we'll go thick there. Complexion. We want her elderly. And we are going to... We're going to start with none. Light makeup. <laughs> There's a couple of them. That's pretty cool. Um, not bad. <sighs> yeah, the full face ones like that make me laugh pretty hard. That's not too shabby. Uh, I already did that one, I think. Mm, nice. I actually like, I like the dirt. I think that's light dirt. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. I'm I'm a fan of that. Maybe even dirtier. What's it look like from afar? Yeah, cuz far away. Yeah, she looks like she's had a rough time. Scars, of course, she's got a lot of them. I think a big right side of the face scar. All right, and then we'll scale a little bit here. Hmm. How do we want to run with this? Let's make her a little, have a slightly smaller head than normal. Okay. And it's a little sunken and a little, pokes up a little bit. It's a little high. And uh, big eyes. We want her to have nice, big stares at you, you know, don't doesn't miss a thing kind of eyes. Um, I'm okay on the spacing brow width. I think she's got kind of a narrow, weird little head. Um, brow height will sink that down. No. Yeah, she's mad. <laughs> she's angry all the time. Nose width. Um, okay, she's a little, probably a little, a little on the sort of misshapen and weird side for a dwarf. Um, nostrils. Uh, we'll give her a, a bit, some honkers. And bridge depth, a little, a little deep, a little protruding there, I think. Hmm, what does bridge depth actually do? Oh, I see, it slides, so... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm, a little too far out. There we go. Alright, we'll narrow that bridge down a little. I think the nose is pretty good. Mouth width. Mm. Mouth height. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. Um, I think she's got sort of small pursed lips. A, maybe a little, a little bit of a funnily large jaw. Yeah, it's weird the way she's looking over her shoulder like that. I'm a little confused as to why she feels it's important to put her chin through her plate mail. 
but we uh, we won't ask that question. Cheeks, kind of large, yeah. Okay, body shape. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I think Slim doesn't look right. She's a dwarf. I think yeah. I think we're gonna go with her as heavy. And then scaling, um, uh, tail, nail, nail length? The heck? Are you serious? I have, wow, those are some nails. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take those down. There's no need for you to have cat claws. Shoulder width, you can have some nice broad shoulders. What is... Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna be a stocky broad. I think that's gonna be key. What is that? Just pushes your chest out. You have an awful lot of. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm not real sure. I care. Waist width. A little, a little bulky there. Yeah, there we go. Waist depth. There we go. Eh. Eh, there we go. Arms are fine. All that I think is okay. She's gonna have some bulky arms though, and some nice meaty hands that maybe are a little on the smaller side, and some stumpy little legs, and some that are kind of bulky. She's not real dexterous, right? So. She's maybe got some big feet that are kind of narrow, but are long. Um, you know, she's a little goofy on her feet. That's why she's not so dexterous. Uh, okay, it's great that you start in your underwear, I'm pretty sure, in this game. All right, so let's continue. So now we get to choose where we're from. Um, there's a variety of gods. I haven't really figured out what your god relates to. Um... We've got the god of the sun. We're a dwarf. I don't think we care much about the sun. Um, the mother of Toril. Mm, okay. Depend on their land. We're sort of a berserker. Ooh, father of the elves. We no longer care. Uh, you know, dwarves and elves don't get along, clearly. Um, let's see. Kelmvor. Oh, yeah. So there's a book series that I read which relates to the rising of Kelmvor and Cyric and um, the whole sort of crew of them. Uh, I actually know altogether too much about the Forgotten Realms setting. Um, I, you know, there's some questions I have about this game. One of the reasons I'm interested is so Omenster guards or lives in the Dale Lands, and he's this sort of legendary wizard, right? So I'm curious to see if they use him, and Baldur's Gate is, of course, you know, the the video game Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, you know, those are classics, I still play those, I might actually do a Let's Play of those at some point, Amn has some really cool uh, stuff going on, Thay I don't see on here, but there's sort of the, the Red Wizards of Thay are a really cool sort of ongoing subplot, um, Mithdranor, of course, is where I think up until at least recently. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't. I'm not up to date on the most recent set of lore with this, but Mithdranor is um, was an ancient sort of wizard, mighty uh, elven kingdom, right? And it was um, had a bad time, basically. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, it was a monster hunt and ruin. That's right. So the demons and stuff lived there, and I guess in this plot line, the elves have reclaimed it. That's cool. So um, there's a lot of magic there. Uh, Cormier, I know has or Cormer. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, I don't really know as much about this right here. Is the Sword Coast, Baldur's Gate, um, Waterdeep. Waterdeep uh, as a setting. I played D and D in Waterdeep as a setting for. A while, Waterdeep's a pretty amazing place to set uh, some stuff. So, basically, you know, looking out, um, the amount of lore that exists already for this entire game world, right? We're in Neverwinter, but Luskin, I think, is a warlike group. Yeah, exactly. 
Magnet for Freaks, Cast Offs and Fugitives. Yeah, I was going to say it's a, a uh, rough place. Um, and so, you know, looking at it, there's a ton of lore. There's a ton of great locations. Waterdeep has all kinds of cool stuff. The Dales are really interesting. Myth Drowner, of course, was a monster haunted ruin for hundreds of years. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on there. Um, Netheril... I don't know as much about there's um so anyway point being there's some cool stuff we got to decide where we're going to be from I think uh former member of pirate band uh or we were trained in a monastery um no n- oh, maybe you are a proud fierce norlander venerating the sea and its power be a sea dwarf. It doesn't really make any sense to me, but you've become skilled in hunting monsters and wild spaces. Blazing sword recruit. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Ex-gang member. I kind of like that. Left for dead. Or we were a bounty hunter. Uh, None of these are really hitting what I want on the head. Explorer, mm, under dark exile, Lerula. You have seen the world and evaded death. Um. Okay, I wouldn't be so bad with that one. Sharon scorned, underclass elite, battle-tested veteran. Yes, I think that might be suited. God of Death. Hmm. Tempting. Forge the Dwarf Race. Well, I... Yes, we are nothing if not a loyal dwarf. Alright, I think we're going to name her Berdogia... Oops, that's all caps. Berdogia Dogbird. Actually, just Berdogia. Alright. Bio. So, um... I believe that Bird Dog's bio reads, Bird Dog was the laziest tiefling in, I want to say, wherever he's from, something county, or whatever, the Dale Lands, I think, is what it might have been, which puts him in the running for laziest in the whole world, um, which is a Big Lebowski reference. So we need to do another movie reference here. So we've got a deranged, sort of hardened... I mean, look at those eyes. That's, she does not trust you. That, 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 that beady stare there is... She wants to kill you and get drunk, probably, while doing it. So we need a good... We need a good berserker, lunatic, fringe name or a biography to point her to. Um, hmm, 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 hmm could reference Conan or the Terminator. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Well, I'm going to I'm going to think about some good movie to put a little connection in there too so that you know, when good people read our bio, they'll get a little reward for it. All right. So with that, let's begin our adventure. So, I've already done this um first sequence of quests. Uh, a couple of times, um, sort of trying out different things, but I have not done them as a uh, warrior, obviously, so we'll find out how that goes. I don't know why their sound's all missing. That's weird. I mean, I did turn it low, but not that low. I'll find that out. As you can see, it's pretty. Um, (laughs) That's not so pretty. That's a little sad, actually. Huh. I don't know where the sound went. Let's find out. Options, audio. I seem to have audio. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? I guess since we we got through character creation and we did all that, so I think I'm going to call that this video and uh, I'll sort out why we don't have sound and then when next we begin, we shall start lovely Birdogia's adventure through finding out where her clothes went. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.